good afternoon students now in today's video we are going to dissect the pre and paraclinical subjects P, uh, the pg courses in these subjects one by one at the outset i would like to say one thing about these subjects is that you know there's a lot of social uh, prejudice or bias against the subjects of pre and paraclinical studies like in which we have anatomy physiology biochemistry pathology microbiology pharmacology forensic medicine and community medicine so there are total eight subjects now why there is a bias because people feel first of all that somebody who is taking these subjects must be having a low rank so automatically when a subject when a person introduces himself as being from these subjects you know general consensus or general impression is that okay iski kam rank aayi hogi isliye isne ye subject le liye so that is one reason why these subjects are actually inke sath na ek sotela sa vyavhar hota hai they are always treated as a second in line or the last in line by the clinicians especially so that is one major prejudice in the society which should not be there because in many colleges in aims in the premier institutes medical institutes of india people take these subjects by choice it's not that they got a low rank and that is why they came here they got a good rank and they took these subjects because they wanted these subjects the second important aspect of pre and paraclinical subjects is that you get a good salary almost equivalent to a person if i speak about a medical college setup now you know that lot of medical colleges are coming up in india and pre and paraclinical subjects have a major uh, option career option after doing pg in the medical college as a faculty now as a faculty you earn very good in medical colleges nowadays because there is a huge demand and there is a short supply the uh, the salary per person in these subjects is very high now in a medical college so almost equivalent to what a person is earning in medicine or say pediatrics or even sometimes more than that that is what a person in a pre and paraclinical subject nowadays earns almost equivalent to what a radiologist is earning that salary is now being given to a person who is anatomy or forensic medicine and i'm not joking this is true this is correct the third important aspect from about these subjects is that you have only 9 to 5 duties or 9 to 4 duties you don't have any night duties you don't have any unnecessary hectic emergency duties so people who are looking for a good salary and a good work life balance should definitely go for these branches and it is not so that you cannot grow in these branches there's a lot of growth options a lot of career options in these branches and by taking pre and paraclinical branches you can maintain a good work life balance which is i feel very important in today's world you can spend time with your family with your parents with your kids you can give time to them you are earning salary you are giving money to them with that you are giving your time also so that is a very important aspect you can take out time for yourself for your own health for your own well being that is also fixed i have seen that by 40 and 50 very good clinicians they get tired they develop burnout they reduce their working hours right so at that age when you are going to get burnt out by doing lot of hard work lot of and you are getting almost the same salary then what is the issue so pre and paraclinical first of all remove this myth remove this bias about pre and paraclinical subjects now let's see what are the various career options now let me start in a basic terms first thing first career option that you have is faculty positions in a medical college and with lot of medical colleges mushrooming up in india with the government taking initiative to open lot of medical colleges and the salary is a good part of that uh you can go for these career options you can go for these pre and paraclinical subjects and uh, become a faculty in a medical college the second career option pathology microbiology and biochemistry people they have a good option of opening their own diagnostic lab and suppose you marry a radiologist or suppose you marry uh, a surgeon or any other person but afterwards that diagnostic lab can be attached to the hospital also it can develop as a multi specialty hospital also and hospital having its own diagnostic lab so you will be the master of that lab you will be running that lab and you know laboratories are a very very lucrative business so you can by taking pathology microbiology for in, uh, and biochemistry you can develop you can open up your own setup you can have your own private practice now even in pathology there is lot of dm options there are there are students i have seen they have done dm in i have seen students who have done after md clinical after md pathology they have done dm in clinical hematology or dm in hemato oncology and they have opened up their diagnostic setups catering specifically to the oncology hospitals which is again a very lucrative business a very money minting uh, machine so you can do dm in various subjects in clinical hemat in histopath in cytopath in uh, hemato onco after doing your md pathology still can join a medical college as a faculty or you can open up your own diagnostic setup also now coming to pharmacology pharmacology may once you have done your md you can join as a faculty in medical college you can uh, join uh, various pharmaceutical companies that career option is there that you can join a pharmaceutical company as a research developer or as a medical advisor or as a content developer uh, medical writing field so that field is open for all the students who do md pharmacology and it is a very very paying subject paying branch the second option is that you can do dm in clinical pharmacology which is right now available only in very reputed hospitals colleges like uh, pgi aims jipmer after completing the dm in clinical pharmacology you can again uh, go for the same career options so pharmacology as such it is very much in demand and after doing pharmacology you can get very good uh, jobs also after doing forensic now forensic ke baad you can either become a faculty in a medical college where the forensic people are paid huge amount why huge because there is absolute dearth of people md in forensic medicine 
so they pay you as good as a professor in medicine or a so the payment of an md forensic medicine is equivalent to md general medicine or md radiology and i'm not joking forensic medicine is very much in demand students are not taking forensic medicine because they, they have this huge bias but believe me this is a very very good branch a very stable lifestyle very uh, i'll say good money making lifestyle and a good work life balance and after doing forensic medicine you can even join as a medical legal expert in some government institutes also you can open up your own consultancy also you can open up your own forensic lab also after taking all the licenses from the government so as a private lab also you can work and it is a very interesting field personally i have liked forensic medicine a lot in my ug case so this is about forensic the next is community medicine now after doing md in community medicine you can join as a faculty in medical college secondly you can also join who or un or world bank they take uh, people who are working in community medicine and they are basically involved in the un projects or who projects in which you get to visit other countries also and you will be doing something for the society in them so community medicine also is a very very interesting and very very good branch with a good secure future have md in anatomy now md in anatomy is again like md in forensic medicine a lot of demand is there very poor supply is there so the faculty in md anatomy is paid very good same goes for md physiology also now in md in anatomy and physiology you can become a faculty in medical college in md anatomy you also have options of doing dm in medical genetics and clinical embryology and then you can uh, join you can have uh, join an institute where there are more chances of research also because anatomy is one field where you can do research also then we have md physiology now in md physiology after doing md you can join as a faculty in medical college you can even open your own wellness center you can attach to a hospital or open your lab on eeg emg ncv testing you can even uh, uh, open a sports and yoga center in collaboration with a physiotherapist so these are the options which are available with md physiology also now all these fields one thing i forgot to mention that all these fields also have a lot of option of research and development so people who have a very research oriented mind can take these branches and go further in research so these were the Uh, these were the eight preclinical and paraclinical branches on which i wanted to shed light and i wanted to remove the bias and show you the career opportunities after these subjects